Hey guys, how are you all doing? I am Supercharger Petrol Head. Well, let's just say SP in short. And so welcome to the channel. And today I'm going to tell you why buying a diesel car doesn't make sense anymore financially. So let's get the intro. Before diving in deep guys, if you can hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification, it would be awesome. I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers before January. So yeah, subscribe and also share the video. Now let's get back into the topic. To understand why buying a diesel car in 2019 doesn't make any financial sense, let's take an example. A Suzuki Swift. The top variant in petrol ZX i Plus cost almost 7.3 lakhs ex showroom. And the top variant diesel ZDI Plus cost almost 8.3 lakhs ex showroom. And the on road price of them are roughly about 8.5 lakhs for the petrol and 9.6 lakhs for the diesel. Now the difference between them is 1.1 lakh. So the diesel would cost you more even before leaving the showroom. Now you might be asking, hey SP, but we don't pay the money upfront, we take loan and pay EMI. Well, consider this. Say you have 2 lakhs as down payment and decide to take the loan. Then for the petrol you need to take a loan for 6.5 lakhs and for the diesel you need to take a loan for 7.6 lakhs. Say you take 5 years plus 60 month loan and at 8% interest rate you need to pay 13,180 rupees per month if it is a petrol car and 15,410 rupees per month if it is a diesel car. So if you buy a diesel car, you have to pay nearly 2,230 rupees more per month as an EMI. So now let's consider the cost of ownership or the service cost for 5 years slash 50,000 km. Since the national average for a person who drives a car is around 10,000 km in a year, so let's take that. So in 5 years slash 50,000 km, you would have gone through 7 regular services with the first 3 being free. So in 5 years, you would have spent around 13,380 rupees for the petrol swift and 20,420 rupees for the diesel one. The regular service includes engine oil, oil filter, air filter, coolant, fuel filter, service charges, spark plugs or injectors in case of diesel and the brake and clutch oil. Remember, this price does not include wear and tear items like brake pads, tires or, or things that could go bad like bearing, tire rods or any of that stuff. This just includes regular service items. I got this estimate from the survey done by Zigwheels. I will link that article down in the description so you can take a look at it yourself. So in 5 years slash 50,000 km you would have spent almost 7,040 rupees more on a diesel car just on regular maintenance. And by this time your EMI would have ended considering you paid 2,230 rupees more in EMI every month for the diesel car. At the end of 5 years you would have paid 1,33,800 rupees more in EMI for the diesel car. Add the price difference in service cost and you would have paid 1,40,840 rupees more to own a diesel car. Now again you might be saying, but SP, the diesel is more efficient and I get higher mileage so it is better, right? Mm, not always. Let me tell you why. Let's assume the petrol is 80 rupees per liter and diesel is 76 rupees per liter. Now I know, the petrol and diesel prices have dropped significantly low in the past couple of weeks. But let's just assume that. Now let's say the petrol gets a 14 km per liter mileage and the diesel gives 18 km per mileage. And again, I know some people get more than that but for the sake of this video let's assume so. So in 5 years slash 50,000 km at 14 km per liter mileage for the petrol you would have used 3,572 liters of petrol and at 80 rupees per liter you would have spent 2,85,760 rupees on petrol alone in 5 years slash 50,000 km and for the same distance at 18 km per liter mileage and at 76 rupees per liter for the diesel you would have spent 2,11,128 rupees on diesel alone. 
Now you might be thinking, well, then the diesel is cheaper, right? Not exactly. Well, if you own a diesel car, you would have saved 74,632 rupees in fuel in 5 years less 50,000 km. But remember the price of the car and the service cost of petrol and diesel, which is 140,840 rupees, and minus that to the 74,632 rupees in the fuel cost and still you would have saved 66,208 rupees if you have bought a petrol car over a diesel almost 70,000 rupees is not a small amount of money now you might be saying well I keep the car for 10 years and I plan to drive more than 60,000 or 80,000 or even 1 lakh kilometer so diesel is profitable well I did some calculations and for 60,000 km you would have saved 52,814 rupees if you bought a petrol car and in 80,000 km still you would have saved 26,912 rupees even in 1 lakh km you would have saved 1,206 rupees in petrol car over a diesel remember this is for the swift where the price difference between the petrol and diesel car is just 1 lakh rupees but on other cars like Hyundai Verna or Creta or Honda City or even Toyota Innova Crystal, the price difference between the petrol and diesel could be anywhere from 2 lakhs to 4 lakh rupees. So you can calculate the savings yourself. Now, I am not saying buying diesel is stupid. No, 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 no. It makes sense if you drive more than 1 lakh kilometer or even 1.5 lakh kilometer or if the price difference between the petrol and diesel increases more than 10 rupees. Until then, buying a diesel car does not make much financial sense for normal buyers. So, you can calculate your savings this way for the car you are considering. Remember, I was pretty conservative with the price and also with the interest rate. It may change depending upon your credit score or even the finance scheme you choose. So, do the math and see for yourself whether it is a good for you. Buying a diesel car was profitable previously but in 2019 with the price difference between the petrol and diesel being so low it does not make financial sense anymore. I did this video because 90% of the buyers who buy smaller cars like Swift, i20 or Baleno or any of those smaller cars in diesel thinking they are saving money but they end up selling the car in 4 or 5 years with less than 60,000 km in the Vodo are losing a lot of money without even realizing. Since you don't need to spend a lot each time you fill the tank in the diesel car, people assume it to be much more cheaper. But in reality, it is not. The only thing good about diesel is higher mileage. Other than that, it is more expensive to buy, more expensive to insure, more expensive to maintain and service more expensive to upkeep in a longer run and also more polluting and bad for the environment over its petrol counterpart. I know some people buy diesel cars not just for the mileage, they also like the low end torque it produces. But for most of the others, petrol cars is better. It is smooth, high revving, fun to drive and much more exciting than the diesel cars. If it is a big car like Innova Krista or the XUV500 or any of those cars, then yeah, diesel makes sense. Due to their heavy weight, the low end torque produced by the diesel engine is good for acceleration, towing stuffs, although I am sure no one tows stuff with their cars in India. But at least it makes sense then. But for all the small cars, you will be better off with a petrol car for the normal family use. Now again. I am not here to preach what car you should or shouldn't buy. It is your choice but again do the calculation yourself and see whether the diesel will suit your need. And I am sure for the 80% of the buyers it won't make any sense once you consider all the factors. So that's it guys for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful please hit the like and share the video and also consider subscribing. And do check out some of my other videos as well. I make videos twice a week and I do all kinds of videos related to automotive industry from news, new car launches and trailers etc. Including educational content from the working of engine and to the working of all parts of the cars and bike. As I said earlier, 
I'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers before January 2019. So, if you subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, SP here, over and out.